Hey everybody, we have come this far and uh, now we are going to actively discuss the pros and cons of having a website not ranked on Google as well as ranked on Google. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to rank your content organically without paying a dime. Of course, we are going to discuss Google AdWords in the upcoming videos, not just for website but also for youtube promotion but in this video i'm going to talk about the organic methods you can use on your website be it a simple portfolio website or a blog website or an e-commerce website whatsoever the purpose of your website is the points i'm about to teach you would allow you to rank your website organically for your business related keywords primarily on google.com so without wasting time let's just jump on the screen and look at what we should expect from this video the first thing you need to factor in if you are looking to rank your website on google for your business related keywords is website structure matters a lot if a website structure is weak you are not going to get in a chance of being ranked for your business related keywords website structure means a website needs to load fast and it can only load fast if it is hosted on a good host on a good quality host i would recommend hosting your website on cloud servers not less than any cloud storage then we need to focus on the overall structure of the website if a web content loads fast, if it is not too cluttered, uh, particularly on smartphones, uh, if it is easy on eyes, there's a good chance you will rank good in the eyes of Google for speed test, for website usability test, which actually is a tip of pyramid if you want to rank for your business related keywords. See, it's not difficult, but at the same time, it is not easy as well. You've got to make sure ensure that your website loads fast the structure is smooth flawless and the overall ux ui of your website is not too cluttered it needs to be easy on the eye 70 percent and more of your website traffic comes from mobile users so you've got to factor them in when you are designing your website this is a mistake many web developers or website owners make because they focus on desktop uh, interface and they ignore the importance of having a good ux ui for responsive devices now responsive devices does not mean mobile phones only it means ipad it means tablet so and so forth the second thing you need to factor in when you are looking for organic search engine optimization of your website is solve the problem of your viewer reader if you can solve their problem, you get in a chance of ranking your content even with the hefty competition out there. When I say hefty competition, heavy competition, I primarily point out to those big giants who have been in business for over a longer period of time. You might just be new, very raw, but this does not mean that you cannot rank your content. If you can solve a problem overnight, Surely you can get a chance of catching a corner of Google's eye and it will start indexing your business related keywords which will lift your website traffic. In this example, I'm going to talk about this keyword. For example, if someone wants to search for best freelance skills, you'll see my blog post beingguru.com ranked in top 10 search results. Now, not just top 10 search results, but also other related keywords to this primary keyword are ranking on Google for different variations. This means that if you focus on one primary keyword and if you write your content well, keeping in mind the viewer, the end user is going to benefit from your content, you will get in a chance of uh, ranking your business related keywords. So solve a problem in this blog post. I'm solving the problem by telling them that look, in my opinion, as I have done freelancing for over two decades, following are the top 10 skills one needs to focus in 2022 and beyond. 
Third thing you see on your screen is content headline grabs 45% of attention. A headline has to be strong. It has to be eye catchy. For example, five ways of ranking your content better on Google. Number three might just surprise you. Now people might be inclined to find out, hey, what exactly is number three? Now this does not mean that you should do clickbait. Clickbait is bad. Google hates clickbait because when users see a clickbait content, a headline, and they leave uh, your website, it is known as website bounce rate. Higher the website bounce rate, which means that people get on your blog post or your e-commerce website or your personal portfolio website, they see your content and they do not like your content a bit and they you know leave your website and they go to the next website that's indexed for the same search keyword google will be inclined to push you down in the ranking for that particular keyword simply because people get on your website they don't like it they don't spend time reading it the bounce rate is higher and if it gets over 50 percent so you are out of the competition for that particular search term and your competitor will rank higher simply because people spend time in viewing that content they spend a longer period of time in reading the content and benefiting from it and if they take a further action for example this also weighs in a long way if a user lands on your blog post for a discussion sake they read the content all the way till the bottom and then they take further action if they fill in the contact us form or if they uh, contact you uh, through your social media icons which should be prominently placed on your website google weighs it because it believes that user has spent time in reading the content they like it and therefore they have taken an action nobody talks about this in the search engine optimization market and industry i fail to understand but this is a very important attribute which has helped me in rank my website for different business related keywords here's a list of the keywords my website ranks for pretty decent right i'm going to teach you how to do it in upcoming videos the next thing you need to focus on when you create your website is focus on keywords that have got good volume and less competition you can easily do it by uh, using different tools i would vouch for I recommend uh, Neil Patel's Uber Suggest because all the search engine optimization tricks and trades I have learned over the years as because of Neil Patel's uh, Uber Suggest and uh, I have watched his videos a lot. I have uh, implemented his strategies on my different blogs, be it WorkChest, be it BeingGuru.com or FreelanceHeroPakistan.com. So. Focus on the keywords that have got good search volume, but at the same time, less competition. Here's my simple tip for you. When you find a keyword or search for a keyword, go for other keyword ideas and then focus on the right column. If the keyword uh, that has got good volume uh, falls in a green area, which means that uh, its search engine difficulty is relatively less, you get in a chance of getting your content ranked for this particular keyword of course you can only do it if you include this keyword in your title as well as in your content next thing you see on your screen is internal linking is very important now what does this mean it means that if i've covered a topic freelancing and if i've covered many other topics regarding freelancing perhaps upwork.com or guru.com or fiverr or how to rank your gigs on fiverr or how to get orders from traditional freelance marketplace i would be better advised to interlink those contextual simple text to other blog posts on my website one thing you need to factor in is do not overkill it if you keep a moderate approach if you only rank a handful number of keywords to your other blog post on your same website on your same blog google weighs it, uh, your effort because they take you as an authority as a subject matter expert who's got an expertise to cover a topic in my case it's freelancing the next thing you see on your screen is introduce tools on your website i learned this from neil patel he owns a digital marketing agency but the tool he offers which is uber suggest 
actually gets more traffic than the traffic he gets on the main website. Uber Suggest lets you analyze your competition, search keywords, keyword ideas. It also gives you a report about your website, the problems your website is going through. So if you go to codecanyon.com, I would advise you to use this tool on your website. This allows your customers, viewers, readers to keep coming back to your website. One interesting way of engaging your audience and this ranks your website. The reason why WorkChest is ranking for multiple business related keywords is because I'm giving them a facility. People come in, they post their services. Clients come in, they post a job and freelancers, they bid on the projects. It's a freelance marketplace. I'm giving them a facility, a tool that allows them to keep coming back on my website. And eventually, it also increases my website presence from different search results, primarily from google.com. The next thing you see on your screen is, this is for the uh, old blog users. If you've got old blog post, the advice says to revamp your blog post. Now apply all the strategies I've mentioned above in the previous uh, points, but primarily focus on the keyword research. Make sure that your older blog posts are revamped uh, by including uh, the keyword research and includes those new keywords uh, that have got good volume, less SD, search difficulty. And uh, over a period of time by uh, revamping or revising your old content and doing uh, uh, the interlinking, you get a chance for ranking other keywords. Last but not the least, make sure you respond to your clients or readers comments on your website. So for example, if you've got an e-commerce website and if people are asking questions uh, on your website, on the particular shop page, you would be advised to answer them. This builds a reputation. Uh, it increases the viewer time spent on a particular page. Remember the bounce rate we discussed? And once a time spent on a page is higher, it uh, you know would allow people to not only come back to your store, do more shopping, uh, but if the website is nicely created, the UX UI is uh, nicely drafted, it would also allow your shoppers to go to the multiple categories and browse different products. It's all about user experience. It's all about keeping your reader, user, viewer in mind. If you do this, the chances of your website getting huge organic traffic is far higher than you spending a huge time doing Google AdWords and uh, placing banner placement or sponsored blog post on other websites organic traffic is real. Focus on your business related keywords, your website, UX UI, but focus on the client. Eventually it's a user who lands on your website. If they spend a longer period of time reading your content, your game 